Welcome to Portugal. Uh, my name is Raul. I'm from São João Jogos. Uh, we're here with uh, Sarah and Tom. You're from the Sony X Dev team, right? Yes, correct. Yeah, I'm well informed, I think. <laughs> um, uh, I have a few questions for you. Um, what, what are the next projects for the, the team? You're releasing now Week Planet 3, but do you have any project that you're already working on? So, Little Big Planet's an interesting project because even when the game is in a in a box on a shelf, it's not it's not finished. So we have like a, quite a big team who you know support the community. We support all the servers. We have the downloadable content to come out. You know, since the first game, we've never stopped working on it. It's just it's just ongoing. So Little Big Planet kind of like it never really goes away, even even on the game. You know, we, we all kind of like work on other stuff as well, but. Our, our kind of like all our focus right now is pretty much taken up with yeah. Little Big Planet, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you have a lot of work with that because Little Big Planet 3 is really big and awesome. Yeah, thank um, you. You, as, a, as an ex dev team, you have to see a lot of indie games because the industry now is really connected to indie games. Little Big Planet 3 is almost like a different um, indie game because it's a, it's, it has its own path. Uh, do you keep in touch with the indie community to see what's going around, what people like, what people don't like? Yeah, I mean, the Little Big Planet creative community are almost like indie developers within Little Big Planet 3. So we speak to them several times a day. They're, they're really important for the development process. And the ideas they have for their own games, their own little mini puzzles, are sometimes overwhelming sense you think. You can make a whole game within Little Big Planet yeah. 3. Like a, mini inception of games like an indie game within an indie game within Little Big Planet 3 yeah I think um, it's exactly that it's like you know there's, there's been a lot of new tools over the last few years in terms of you know more entry level designers being able to create their own games and make apps stuff like that Little Big Planet we've always had that tool set so that normal people can, can use those tools and we've even seen that some of those people who've used the tools to create their own games have actually then gone on to work for games companies including yeah. for us some of them work for us on the game so yeah, I think um, on top of that, you know, we see a lot of students, a lot of like independent studios who have great ideas through XDev. We're always looking for kind of like for new projects that we can bring and make exclusive to PlayStation. Okay. Uh, speaking of uh, exclusives to PlayStation and bringing them to PlayStation, what do you think about Portugal? Portugal is having a kind of a boom on uh, developing games, uh, more exclusively to mobile and everything. But do you, what do you think? Have you seen any Portuguese game? Uh, have you seen? Ooh. That's a good, good question. Yeah. Portuguese games. It's I think, not uh, I, I think because we get so many titles that come in through XDev, and I think there probably is some swimming around. We yeah. probably may not know yeah. they exist. Yeah, I mean, we, we work with teams all over Europe. Actually, mostly all over the world, but most of our developers are all based all over Europe. And um, we've definitely seen kind of like a surge in titles from you know from all different countries. Obviously, an event like this shows that. There it's is. becoming it's the first one, isn't it? Yeah. It's becoming, yeah, no, obviously... this, is the, this is actually the first big event in gaming in Portugal. Uh, and it's looking yeah. really good. I hope yeah. you're, you're enjoying it. It's I, really it's cool, really, yeah. Yeah, It's very spacious. It's quite a nice change. Yeah, yeah. To. compared <laughs> to the more established ones. Squished up. Yeah, so I can't think of any specific Portuguese ones, but if there's anyone out there who's got any cool yeah. ideas, then send them our way. We have games like Invisibles that you've got here is an excellent yeah, title. Course, yeah. And that's yeah. got a huge audience in, um, obviously, in Spain and in Portugal, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for the interview. I hope you enjoyed the, the rest of the show. Thank you. Uh, yes, you and you're always welcome to Portugal. Oh, Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Come around. Thanks. <laughs>